Okay, so as I was reviewing what you all put for this slide, I'm seeing lots of good explanations of how Helena basically found the difference between the two heights and use that to find the, dis the difference between the height she had and the height that was missing. And that is one way to do it. That's great. That works out really, really well. Um, what I'm finding over on this second version here, and some of you put in your notes that to find it, you did five divided by two. So we took what we have five divided by two and found two and a half. That also means that two times two and a half would get us five. That means I could take this three and a half and multiply it by five to get this. So we're finding the change in numbers and using that change. But what we discussed in class today is another really great way of doing this is what's called cross multiplication. Now the example I first set up in the first example was putting the height over the width or the width over the height. In this example, we have the two heights and we're missing one of the widths. And I'm gonna encourage you to look at this as a fraction, two over three and a half. And this is a fraction five over a blank and ignore these for now. This is a different method and I'm showing you cross multiplication. That means my missing, I'm gonna call X. When we do cross multiplication, we cross multiply what's across from each other because we're saying that these two fractions are equal to each other. And that's gonna give us two over three and a half and five over X is gonna give us three and a half or 3.5 times five is equal to two X. And I'm gonna multiply that 3.5 times five. And I get 17 and a half is equal to two X. Where did I get the 2x from? I got it from here times this, and I got the 17 and a half from doing this times this. But now I want to get that 17 and a half divided by two. Why divided by two? Because I want to turn this into an invisible one. Two over two is one. 17.5 divided by two gives me 8.75. If 8.75 equals X, then it goes right here as my missing amount. And it's the same thing you get when you multiply this. And it's the same thing you get when you multiply this. So they're showing that there's lots of different ways to find those missing amounts. Uh, cross multiplication is a way that we discussed in class today and it can work as well. <laughs> 